Stephen Fortner from Keyboard here, and we are very uh, fortunate to be visiting the headquarters of IRCOM in Paris, France today. And I uh, just wanted to start by showing you the only anechoic chamber in Paris. You can probably uh, hear the sound of my voice sounds different than it does on a lot of the other Keyboard Magazine videos, uh, because we are in a chamber that is designed to have no reflected sound whatsoever. Uh, it is used by speaker manufacturers for testing speakers. Uh, it is used to see what instruments really sound like, uh, absent of any reflected sound, and then apply those findings to um, sound design, uh, effects design, and spatialization tasks uh, you know, for applications in anything from composition to music for picture to synthesis. I'm here with Mr. Frederick Rousseau, who is uh, very kindly giving us a tour of the IRCAM facility today. Uh, and um, you don't want to stay in here for too long because it's, it's, you can begin to hear your, yeah, your, I mean, your blood pumping. And... and you are not used to that. You know, most of the time when you are in, a, when you are in real life, you always have reflection somewhere, you know. Mm -hmm. and, here, and there's always a bit of ambient noise yeah, somewhere And you are well. not used to this kind of, you know, really silent rooms. And after a while, I mean, it's certainly perfect for sleeping, you know, then you have no noise. It's, it's, you know, it's really I think quiet. I might be able to use this for, yeah, yeah. for uh, <laughs> I think I might come in here and take a nap later. <laughs> but um, so, uh, Frederick, you were saying who, who uh, are among the clients that come in here and? Uh, I mean, and use I mean, most of most of the use is linked to what the IRCAM needs for you know making measure for the instruments, and sometimes we have some we rent this room for people making speakers just to see exactly how the speakers are reacting. Um, new instruments like you know the let's say that Buffet Crampon is making a new clarinet and they want to see how the clarinet is reacting in real, I mean, with no reflections, and they came here. Um, most of the time it's linked to instruments, music instruments. But now you have another room like this outside of Paris. It's something like in the south of, south of France near Toulouse. And they can put some, you know, re plane reactor in it. You know, that is, they can put some real plane in it and making you have an echoic room, huge, huge, it's something like yes. 400 or 500 square meters, and they can make some measure for the plane. And that's the biggest electronic room that you have in France. But this one is right, it's a normal, um, you know, normal size for making uh, instruments measured. So 10 by 20, maybe 10 by 30 feet. Yeah. Um, I, I wonder what it would sound like if you took a, um, a, a machine such as a Leslie speaker, a rotary speaker for the organ, designed to to work off reflected sound and put it in here. I wonder what it would sound like. I mean, you know what? We, I remember, you know, looking at the measure about a trumpet. You know, I don't see an organ, but I see a trumpet. And it's quite amazing how a trumpet works with an acoustic around. But when it's dry, I mean, the trumpet sounds shit. <laughs> it's, just a, it's just a tube, you know, it's a real basic tube. And you, suddenly you understood that the trumpet or all this kind of instrument works because you have an acoustic or you have a reverb, or an acoustic reverb around. And with this kind of roof, you really have the sound of the instruments without, you know, all the kind of reverb and acoustics that you can have and making the sounds better. And I remember, this, you know, this trumpet was awful. It was just, <laughs> it was just absolutely, you, know, you can't imagine how it's different. And that's certainly the same for the organ. Organ is done for church. Then when you have a special, you know, five or six second reverb, etc., etc. And I'm sure that if you are putting an organ here, it's going to sound shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, we're going to explore more of IRCAM in the coming videos, so stay with us.